you thought TikTok was bad, let me show you this little thing called Facebook. Today we hired a few real mechanics to watch through some of the best and worst car repair advice Facebook has to offer. Insanely dangerous. Awesome advice. You idiot! That's impressive. There's no way in hell I would do that. Is there any truth to these videos? Or should we just go to Mark Zuckerberg's house and arrest them at his doorstep? This is Donut. Welcome to Donut. Let's go get sucked. <laughs> Hold on, let's talk about Lincoln for a second. Think of all the stuff you can actually buy for $5. Some cheap toilet paper, oat milk, maybe a lock of my hair if you play your cards right. It's not much, but with today's awesome sponsor, Shopify, this can do a whole lot more. With Shopify's $5 starter plan, you can create your own simple online store and jump straight into selling even if your only device is a smartphone. Sell across every major platform like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, Spotify, Etsy, and anywhere else you might wanna share your product. Plus, you'll get access to Link Pop, which is the easiest way to turn your link and bio into a shoppable experience in seconds. Create a page, link your products, and turn your followers into customers all for just $5. And as your business grows from first sale to full scale, you can easily upgrade the starter plan to unlock even more powerful features on Shopify. So whether you're new to selling or you just have an idea you wanna try out, Shopify starter plan is the best way to get your product out there. I mean, come on, for five bucks to start your own business, there's no better way to spend your money. Okay, I can think of one other way. For $5, you can join Donut and the millions of other merchants by visiting shopify.com slash donut starter, or just click the link below. Thank you guys for having me back. I am an ASC master certified mechanic, and I am an automotive instructor at Riverside City College. I got six years doing German auto tech, 3.0 Audis, that's usually what I build. I am the owner of LexTech, and I've been a mechanic for over 30 years. And I, put a coil over on today. <laughs> For our first hack, here is a clever way of removing a wheel bearing. You never hit it with a hammer. Never. I'm about to show you a trick that's gonna blow your mind on how to get these wheel bearings out without damaging them. You got your buddy inside, you put a socket right here. Uh, All right, turn to the right, turn to the left. So what he's doing right now is trying to push out the, the hub from the knuckle while using steering force. Half the time that usually doesn't work. Usually you gotta pound or hammer out wheel uh, like wheel that. bearings. I would have beat it with a hammer. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Heck yeah. He didn't even pull the wheel bearing out. He pulled out the axle, as a matter of fact. So wheel bearing usually is harder to pull out. If you saw someone in your shop doing this, would you have any concerns or like? Nope. No? <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, it depends. <laughs> as long as you know what they're doing, right? Yeah. Okay, so is this legit or do we need to store Mark Zuckerberg's house? I I feel like it's legit. Yeah, I think it's legit too. So, I think it's a great hack. Yeah, I'm going to say le legit hack on this. Send his ass to jail. No need to do this. Get two pry bars, get it done by yourself. Maybe you could find a friend to do this hack with on Facebook. You could have a Facebook friend. All right, next clip. Uh, what is that? <laughs> that looks like a potato peeler. Are you shaving some tires? Aw. This person is using a vegetable peeler to peel rubber off of a tire to fit more aggressive wheels. Does it work? Yeah. Do you want to do this? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't take rubber off a tire sidewall. You should probably just roll your fenders better. You are creating a weak spot in the sidewall by removing rubber, I'd imagine. Michelin has put a lot of money into their engineering. Don't take a vegetable peeler that's from Amazon, obviously, and shave your tires off. Let's arrest Mark okay, Zuckerberg. Yeah, this is an arrestable offense. Send him to jail. Yeah. I want to send Mark Zuckerberg to jail on their behalf. Definitely send him to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Next clip. All right, guys, we all know that we all have five drain holes. <laughs> and this is a reminder to check all five of your drain holes I'll regularly. Huh? I only have two. Two drain holes? <laughs> well, you should get them checked regularly. There's a lot of water in there. That'd be a big leak. <laughs> in Florida, where I'm from, like sunroof ones, if you like park under trees, they get all gunky and then it rains a ton. Those will clog up. That builds up and it eventually leaks into somewhere inside the car. On all those floods were in Texas, 
We saw a lot of flood cars out here, just yeah. pouring for days. That's crystal clean water. You know, first, he filled it for sure. But he is showing a point that, you know, these drain things do get clogged up from time to time, and they're there for, you know, a reason. So checking your drain holes, all five of them, legit hack? If there's five, it could be a legit hack. <laughs> make, sure, make sure to drain them after some rain days. Let's watch the next one. What? Get the f <laughs> Get out of here. That's on purpose. Uh-oh, five minute crafts on the bottom. Weird crafts that seemingly have no point, but I think if you watch too many of them, like your brain melts into a, uh, a jelly. That tire had that a tube in it? That tire had a tube in it, in it. yeah. What? When's the last time you've seen a tubed car tire? I don't I think I've ever seen one. Not on cars, yeah, on bikes. No, dude. You can't fix this. You know it's, how it's too round, squared. You know how round these are supposed to be? Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a full wheel repair. How, for, I want, I have questions. What I don't get is how his wheel got so square. <laughs> I've never even seen a wheel get that square. I have no idea what he even did to do that. This is a solve for a problem that doesn't exist. For a $40 wheel, I wouldn't spend, that's gotta be hours, even though it's time lapse, but. Oh, it'd take forever, right? Yeah, yeah, it'd take forever. Oh, that perhaps it's not the same it's wheel. It's the same wheel when they're done? Oh yeah. I don't think it's the same wheel. That's not the same wheel. Also, isn't the metal compromised? Like, like the integrity of this metal is compromised at yeah, this point? Yeah, for like, sure. It's not as strong as it was when it was first pressed. There is a point where a wheel is too far gone, but I think they're just bragging about their skills of, of how good they can fix stuff. But clearly they can't, because yeah. they switched out the wheel. Yeah, so. they lied about it. This is There'd advertisement. For sure, for this wheel repair company. No. This is not a thing. No. If your wheel looks like that, go buy a new wheel. Also, maybe just invest in like a public transportation pass because <laughs> if you did this while you're driving, <laughs> you shouldn't be on the road. This is why old people can't be trusted with anything they learn on Facebook because of this <laughs> <laughs> Zuckerberg, we're coming to arrest you. Video's fake. You're going to jail, Mark. Send him to jail. All right, now let's go to our next video. So if you don't want to make a mess, you just take it off with a cup over it, like this. Interesting. Um, I suppose it depends on how much oil is going to come out of that thing. It looks like he's sideways, but I think it's actually like straight down. That's what I was wondering myself. Oh my God. Filter on one of my trucks, it's on the side. I'm an idiot. I'm sitting here thinking like, well, how is it going in on the side? If it's sideways, there's no way that oil filter's picking that, all that oil up. If it's straight up and down, yeah, this is legit. It's straight up and down. It's straight up you and down. You can see on yeah. the wheel. Oh, gee, this is a great idea. I mean, I never even thought about it, but it's a great idea. And then, hell, he doesn't even get it on his hands. How have we never thought of this? I don't usually work on a lift like this. So I'll just usually just put the oil pan right under the... Of course, yeah. yeah. I do it like this. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, cold makes things shrink, uh, heat makes things expand, and so he's shrinking that thing to make it fit in the hole. So he's putting his sleeve in the engine. Wow. And he's... Okay. Dang, that's super cool in no, that thing. No, 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 hold on here. That's, that, that sleeve has an interference fit because you don't want that sleeve going anywhere during uh, you know, your, your whole four-stroke cycle. Most shops will take a cylinder and they will put it in the refrigerator for a few hours to shrink the metal down, but it still requires a big-ass hammer to usually pound that cylinder into place. You should not be able to do it by hand. Is this the right way to sleeve a motor? Probably not. Probably don't want to just be spraying it with compressed air and then just shove it in there. Interesting technique. That's a great idea. You have nothing else. I think I, it's obviously working. Whether or not that sleeve is going to have a, a long life or that engine's going to have a long life is, you know, debatable. Is it legit? Yeah, it's legit. Legit science. I would never do this if I was putting a sleeve in an engine. Well, that sure was an icy hack. Let's see how the next one stacks up. No need for a ball joint press. No need to press a ball joint out. Uh, um. What's he doing? So what he's doing is just basically knocking out a ball joint from the top side and just pushing it, hammering down on the knuckle to push down onto the ball joint to sit itself. Is this legit? It is legit. Is this what you want to be doing? 
Probably not. You don't want to be hammering on your knuckle. I think he's putting an awful lot of pressure on the stud of the ball joint. So for a brand new ball joint, you're now beating the crap of the inside of that, that joint. And am I allowed to do that? <laughs> if it doesn't go in completely straight, it's it's gonna get cocked and you might damage the control arm or the new ball joint. So one of the two you might damage. But in general, yeah, it's a great hack. I think this is like, you gotta know yourself before you try something like this. Yeah, you know? depends on what kind of skill level you have. Would I ever do it? No, I'm not confident in my skill set to be able to do that. Arrest Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg's allowing someone to see that and be like, hey, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Instead of going to AutoZone and renting the tool for free, just go use the tool. F me, right? What do I know? <laughs> so he's got a stud that he's trying to get out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That is the correct way to do it, without the correct tool, at least. So, he, it, I mean, it's just the, fr the friction from tightening it so much. A classic way to remove a stud is what we call the old double nut. So you take one nut and you screw it onto the stud, and you take another nut and you tighten it on that nut and you will use that bottom nut now almost as a bolt head. Don't know if I would use a gun, though. Yeah, that seems risky. Usually you don't want to do it with an impact. Usually you got to have a wrench, two wrenches, a ratchet possibly. But other than that, that's legit. I just wouldn't use the impact. I would have just used the wrench. All right, that's legit. Oh, oh my I've god. I've seen this. I've seen this before. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Like, look, at he's holding it with his fingers. If his fingers were to get caught, they're gone. Yeah, you don't have to do that. No. Is it hard to put that on? Just turn the car off and do it. People like to show off and show like, oh, I can change the belt while the engine is running. It's a good hack, but there's no way in hell I would do it. And I can tell you from experience, I broke all four fingers out of doing that. I'd have someone guy, you know, bump the, the uh, engine, just bump it one time, just one bump. And my finger got stuck in between the belt and the pull. If the belt was tight, it would have I would have it would have cut them off. Yeah, it would have cut all four fingers off. The belt was too long, thank God. Can you do this? Yes, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. Don't try this at home, guys. Uh, don't try this at all anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Not just at home. Yeah, don't do this, kids. Don't do this. Yeah. Jail. Yeah, full jail. Bread and water only. Lube tech tries to unclog drain. This sounds like a porno. It does. <laughs> All right, so this is a thing called a cheetah. It's like compressed air, and you put it between the bead of a tire and a, a wheel to mount a, a tire. You know those fast tire inflators to set a bead? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way in hell I would do that. This guy <laughs> is not a smart person. Oh, that's god. so gross, dude. Imagine all that gunky. Splooged in his face. Dude, yeah. I mean, is this legit? Yeah, this is legit, but this is gross. I probably wouldn't use a cheetah to unclog anything. He's wearing a, sha a face shield, um, which gets knocked off in the process. I think the guys at the shop were messing with this guy. I think they were messing with him. You take the new guy, you <laughs> tell him, go, go put this thing down the hole and get blasted. Here's our next clip. So right now he's putting on some uh, drum brakes. No, he's got a chain. No, those are uh, they're little bungee cables that keep tension on the on the drums to hold them in place. Okay, so he basically used a chain for leverage to pull on the other drum. So there he's, whoa, little camera. I mean, come on with this shit. Why is it cutting away on the good part? I know. All of these are the one. Uh, I don't even know what's going on here. Cameraman. Yeah, cameraman. Total bull. Total bull. This is David Blaine, magician. This is David Blaine. <laughs> ma magician, hog watch crap. That little flick away from the drum, like that yeah, yeah, is they, suspect to me. Oh, now I see it. So he's got he's got the chain hooked onto the spring. It, yeah, it comes and it connects it. Oh, that's cool. But then I'm not really sure how that. I don't know the end part, see, they don't that want to show you that. is sus. He's pulling the chain real fast. Yep. And then it's pulling the spring down, and then the chain falls off because it gets kicked, you know, over that pin, and then he pulls the chain out. Yes, okay. yes. No, this seems very okay. legit. All right. I don't thought arrest. there was. I thought there was some camera trickery 
Why the guy moved so fast? He must have got scared. He still scared. got scared. Yeah. Got but scared. this looks legit. Yeah. Yeah. Have I ever tried this? No. Do I know if it works? I don't. But it looks legit. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's a maybe a ticket. A ticket. Yeah. Zuckerberg, you're getting a ticket. So heating off a wheel bearing, pretty simple. I mean, makes sense. I don't know if that necessarily makes sense. Putting it on rotation and just using heat to slip it off. Usually heat itself won't slip it off. He's using compressed air to like spin it, right? Yeah, to spin the hub, he's using the compressed air and he's using the torch to heat up the, the wheel bearing. So like I said earlier, heat expands. You know, if it works, it works. Yeah. Never tried it before, but yeah. 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 That would be like some last ditch effort kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah how often it's gonna work. It might not work every time. It, it's probably not the safest thing to do, but it, that seems super legit. Looks cool. Anything with flames is cool. Legit hack. This is our last clip that we're gonna be looking at. Uh, it's a little crazy. Check out Mechanic Jack. Okay, here we go. It looks like they're doing a little body repair. Um, okay. By cutting off some panels. Hammered it. He's using like a, a frame like structure. A frame machine, yeah. So why didn't he pull the whole thing instead of making this? That's what I would get. Is that concrete? <laughs> now he's, he's mixing cement? Putting <laughs> bricks in there? <laughs> oh. And using the bricks and the concrete together for some mechanic jack body repair. He's building a pizza oven in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine how much heavier this side of the car is gonna be. <laughs> like you're gonna be like this going down the he's road. He's doing body work with the concrete. Yeah. I respect that. Got a paint booth though. Right? I mean, this guy's got a paint booth. He can't buy anything. Look, it looks better than the door. <laughs> <laughs> He's polishing it. Looks wow, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> until it falls apart, right? Yeah, until you get another accident. Not even an accident. Yeah. It's just going to fall yeah. apart. When he stacks the bricks, there's one brick that he just shoves in the corner. <laughs> Look. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it looks so better good. than the rest of the car. I mean, it came out pretty freaking good. It came out amazing. <laughs> I don't believe it. This has got to be a troll, man. Go get yourself a quarter panel and just fix it right. Do it the right way or don't do it. All right, so what do we think? Do we want to get tricked on this one? This will live on the internet forever, so this is important. Zuck's got to be arrested for this <laughs> one. Straight to jail. Yeah. We just crossed 7 million subscribers. From the bottom of our hearts, we just want to thank you guys uh, for supporting us. Both the OG people who have been here from the beginning and the people who are new, who just learned about us recently. Um, you guys are the only reason we do this. If you didn't watch our stuff, then we wouldn't get to make videos anymore. So sincerely, 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 thank you guys so much. I can't believe this is my job. Um, and I can't believe that I've been able to do it for almost seven years and get to do it with some of my best friends. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. It means everything to us. Every time we see someone wear a shirt, every time someone walks up to us uh, in public, it's just like amazing. So to celebrate this monumental event, we're releasing some limited merch stuff at donutmedia.com. Uh, go get some if you want to tell people that you're here when we cross 7 million. Uh, here's to 7 million more. Again, I love you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I crashed a car today. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, if we were to cycle the tally of arrest Zuck or not, I think I think Zuck's in trouble. We're coming for He's you. He's doing 20 to life. Some of them were good, some of them were bad. Pretty hilarious. I don't know if I would do a lot of them. Don't listen to social media. Go see your mechanic, ask for some advice. I think the only car advice that they should allow on Facebook is Donut Media. So follow the Donut Media Facebook page. Thanks to Andy and all of our other mechanics for being here. See you next time. Bye. Till next time. <laughs>